What up, people? So I'm going to try to do something different where I actually record myself working out. For those who know me know that I hate recording myself working out. I feel like it takes away from my workout. But of course, I want to provide insight and make more videos. So why not? Um, I do have a goal to kind of trim down my midsection a little bit, of course, as we talk about on this channel, as it relates to body types. And I'm an ectomesomorph, so my torso tends to be a little bit wider than I would like, but it's still pretty flat for the most part, but I got some work to do. Um, I always like to start my leg sessions with this back extension machine if it's available. It just kind of warms up not only the posterior chain, hamstrings, glutes. It kind of, you know, gives my calves a little juice too. So, what up, people? So, I messed up my toe a couple of weeks ago. Um, I actually dropped a bending machine on my toe a couple of weeks ago. So, that sounds very random, but I do also own couple of vending machines so I was trying to move one to another location and it was a freak accident so yeah dropped it on my toe I may or may not post a picture of that um, right now okay maybe I gotta post now since I've made that pause but yeah so my toe is recovering it's about mm, I would say 75 80 percent so I can't do lunges um, there's certain positions my foot can't be in comfortably um, so for that reason I don't really want to load my spine at the moment so I still need to hit legs so I'm gonna deadlift instead and I'm going to superset that with leg press today with a lot of volume on leg press so I'll do five sets of deadlift those reps won't be high but I'm also going to superset that with five sets of leg press which are going to be anywhere between 10 and 20 reps depending on the set because of course I'm going to increase weight every set. Um, it's a good workout for the ecto meso blend who can handle um, the volume but you also kind of need that load for hypertrophy at all times for any anybody type actually um, for hypertrophy reasons for growing muscle but um, of course I have to make accommodations for my foot so y'all stay tuned. So this first set of deadlift, of course, isn't that heavy. Again, I'm about 6'3". I think in this video on this day, I'm probably anywhere between like 2.13 and 2.15. It's about 6 in the morning right here. Um, just really kind of going through these movements, getting my body warmed up. I had a full warm-up routine before this, which I did not record. I apologize. Um, I'll get around to recording what I actually do in my full warm-up capacity outside of the back extension machine. But right here, I'm actually feeling pretty good. The shoes I have on are actually swim shoes, by the way, um, on Amazon. So after I'm done with deadlift, I move over to leg press. Um, I got two plates on each side. Once again, we're not heavy here. Um, just really focusing on my muscle connection, I'm moving the weight, nothing too serious. Um, going as deep as it's comfortable. I'm not overemphasizing the depth at this point. The weight isn't heavy. I'm just kind of treating this as me kind of getting into the flow. Uh, when you have those longer limbs, you want to make sure that your feet stay as flat as possible on the platform and you kind of for lack of a better way, kind of feel yourself pushing through your hips um, versus kind of pushing through your joints. So you make sure you're activating the muscle. So we're back at deadlift. We got 225. So these weights are actually in pounds and not kilos. So I know it kind of messes with some people's eyes to see that 45 on the side and be like, wait a minute, 45 kilos. This fool is on steroids. But no, I'm, I'm not. Um, this is 45 pounds on each side. So we're back at leg press. At this point, you know, fatigue isn't setting in per se, but, you know, you're starting to feel it a little bit, right? You've exerted some energy. So we got three plates on each side of leg press. We're just still moving through it at this point. I'm kind of looking off in the glass right there, trying to check my form. I should be keeping my head, you know, more neutral the entire time, but that's, you know, that's me. So, okay, so we're back. So we got... I don't really know what this adds up to off the, off the dome, but we got 245s and the 35 on each side. I did have some foot positioning issues with myself. 
I, I don't think I really aligned myself properly before I started picking up the weight. That's my fault. But overall, it was a decent set. We're back at leg press, five plates on each side. Once again, not breaking world records here, just really going for muscle activation and blood flow. As you can see, I'm a little dehydrated. I got like a, a leg shake on the left side. <laughs> um, fun fact, I actually tore my patella tendon in half in 2011 so at the date of this video about 10 years prior to this video so I, I try not to be too hard on myself when it comes to uh, my leg bothering me if you will so back at deadlift again this weight is heavy I'm not gonna you know try to downplay that at all once again I could be sitting a little bit lower and I could press through my feet a little bit more through that deadlift so I did kind of feel my back um, a lot you know those last two reps so back at leg press we got six plates on each side just moving through it at this point I'm tired you can see it in my face but I need to of course finish the workout um, and maintain the program that I'm on so we got to push through it my back at this point is a little tight I decided to of course you know keep the belt on for leg press so at this point, we are technically done with the resistance portion. So I want to make sure that after my leg days, I kind of stretch out my hips. Um, outside of body type, it's really good to make sure that you kind of push that blood um, out and, you know, push that bad blood out so you don't develop a lot of scar tissue and have a lot of soreness um, the next day or over the next two days when you're trying to move around after a heavy leg day. As it relates to the body type, um, you know, being an ectomeso blend, yes, I can move heavy weight. Yes, I can keep up with people in the gym when it comes to picking up some heavy shit. But, you know, I don't have the natural, you know, big, larger muscle bellies to absorb that shock and resistance. So a lot of that pressure goes to my joints. You know, it, it is what it is. So even when I'm doing my best to execute and maintain proper form, due to the way my muscles are attached through genetic factors that can't be controlled, a lot of that pressure hits my joints even when I, you know, execute properly. So that's something that's not going to change. So that being said, I really prioritize my recovery, really prioritize this stretching, which I, you know, don't necessarily love to do. I, you can probably see in my body language, I'm just kind of moving through it at this point. But it is something that um, I will never downplay or tell people that it's not important. So make sure you do that. Uh, feel free to send me a, a message or DM or comment on this video if you want to see uh, my full stretch routine right here. I'm just kind of I'm filling it out because my back is really tight. So I don't want to make a lot of drastic movements or move too quick. But the camera was already rolling and I wasn't about to pop up and stop. So you guys just kind of see me uh, feeling myself out here. I'm like, again, looking in the mirror, you know, checking like my hip position. And I'm probably talking shit to myself because I can't believe I like kind of hurt my back a little bit on that last set. But it, it happens. Once again, I'm not too hard on myself, especially when I understand why something is going on. So... I'm not going to talk too long. This video may have like 45 seconds or something like that left. So if you like what you see, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Leave a comment for my Ecto Meso blends. Let me know if this is something that you currently do or if this type of workout is something that would interest you. I'm going to be posting more of my workout routines just so I can stay more consistent with you guys. I know I've done a lot of educational like videos, so I think it'll be cool if y'all actually saw me work out, you know, so you can <laughs> know that I'm not just talking shit and this is what I actually do. Um, I'll talk to y'all soon, man. Peace out.